the Lord, everybody. Welcome to our sit-ups, our spiritual impact training using prayer and scripture. I am Pastor Tony Brook Brown, and I'm coming with our word today. And we're going straight into the word. So if you want information about our morning prayer or the e-booklet for sit-ups, please look underneath this YouTube video. Hit subscribe, hit share if you want uh, notifications when I upload the videos. And also share this video if you feel that anybody will benefit from it. But first, we want to go right to the word right now. And today, I want to talk about Heinz feet. I want to talk about Heinz feet, and this is your study. Remember, the sit-ups is spiritual impact training using prayer and scripture. So you got to get your notepad and your pen. You want to write down the verses of scripture so you can study around them and so that you can meditate on them so you can exercise this word. This is your workout. And so this word, or this phrase, hinds feet, is used in three verses of scripture in the Bible. In the first one that we're looking at is in Habakkuk chapter 3, and I'm looking at verses 18 and 19. I'm going to go into why this is important. What are hinds feet? Why is that even a thing? Is it anything that we should even be concerned with, or is it just something that sounds good in the verses? Let's read these three verses first, or the three places where you can find the verse, and then we're going to look at what is hinds feet? What does that mean, and why do we want to have some? And where can we get them? How can we run with hinds feet? How can we get about like high speed? Why do we want it? So let's look in Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 18 and 19. And what it says here is yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength and he will make my feet like hinds feet. And he will make me to walk upon mine high places to the chief singer on my stringed instruments. Listen, he says, the God, the Lord God, he is my strength and he will make my feet like hinds feet and he'll make me to walk upon my high places. And so then we look in Psalms, Psalm chapter 18. I'm looking at verses 22 through 24. This is David. It's the song of David. Psalm 18 verses 32 through 34. And it says, it is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. Verse 33, he maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken in mine arms. Did you hear that? The focus, of course, is again the hinds feet. But listen again. It's saying, God is my strength. God girdeth me with strength. He makes my way perfect. In Habakkuk, it talks about God being his strength, right? It talks about um, him making his feet like hinds feet. Listen, so here, each verse talks about the high place. He says, he makes my feet like hinds feet and sets me up on my high places. In Habakkuk, it says that he will make my feet like hinds feet and make me to walk upon mine high places. Then the last place that we're looking at is in 2 Samuel, chapter 22, verses 33 through 35. This is almost identical to Psalms. We're talking about David here. So again, in verse 33, it says, God is my strength and power. He makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like hinds feet and sets me up on my high places. He teach my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Now, in 2 Samuel 22, we are um, seeing, you know, where David is talking here. He's talking about um, if you break down and you're going to want to go back and look at this entire chapter because this chapter is talking about this song is focusing on the Lord's deliverance of David from all of his enemies and so you know in response to which David is praising the Lord his deliverer in verses two through four then the major part of the song um, in verses five through 46 he states the reason for this praise of the Lord David first describes how God has delivered him from his enemies in verses 5 through 20. Then he declares why the Lord has delivered him from his enemies in verses 21 through 28. 
And then he states the extent of the Lord's deliverance from his enemies in verses 29 through 46. So it ends with David's resolve to praise his delivering God, his delivering Lord, even among the Gentiles. And, and it tells us, you know, about his deliverance from and how he is praising God. And so when it gets to this part about the hinds feet, when it starts talking about the hinds feet, when you look this up and you begin to read about hinds feet, let me tell you some of what I was reading about it, right? It talks about um, the, the hinds feet are deer's feet, first of all, if you didn't know that. It's talking about deer's feet. And so when you think about deer's feet, I read about how they can run an open field at 30 to 35 miles an hour, jump an eight foot fence uh, or clear a seven foot fence from a standstill. So it's like a leap, right? And it's like, it talks about how there's no way uh, to know, you know, where best footing is, but they seldom slip. Or fall in any normal conditions, they don't slip and fall because they have their hind feet. What their hind feet, those are the back feet. And it and it talks about how um, you know, whether they're running or chasing other deer or they're running from danger, their muscular hind legs propel their movements, and the front legs serve as pivot points to, to make sharp turns, but the hooves make it possible. So they are able to just to, to just go like like they when they're on the move lord they or when they're on the move they are they are able to leap like to make just from a standstill just go forth and they're able to climb up in mountains just leap up through them and they don't fall and so it talks about all of the different ways that you know it it talks about how the deer foot has two elongated toes. They walk, they run, they jump on the third and fourth uh, phalanges. Um, each toe is capped by a hard, horny toe, toenail that they call the hoof. That's the hoof, right? And it says it's made of keratin, the same material that forms our fingernails. A clean, healthy hoof is an elegant structure. The back, the black outer nail is hard and strong. It absorbs the shock of every stride and provides traction on soft and wet surfaces. It also is also a formidable weapon. And it says the inner portion of the hoof is softer but still tough. It provides a cushion and traction on harder surfaces. So when deers bound down an embankment on a worn trail, the sharp outer hoof digs into the bare soil on the trail for traction. When the hooves land on the roadway, the tough inner part cushions the landing. Only when a road or trail is ice covered do deer slip, stumble, or fall. Chased onto a frozen lake by dogs or predators, a fallen deer, you know, has a problem then. But when we're talking about the hinds feet and you talk about a deer, um, you know, how they're able to leap up and they're able to, to go up to the tops of mountains. They're able to do things that other animals are unable to do. So when we're talking about hinds feet and the fact that when we're walking with God that he's our strength and he gives us hinds feet and what we need those for is what they're talking about in the time of trouble. When you're going through hard situations and circumstances, when you feel like you're falling, when you feel like you're stumbling, when you feel like you want to quit, God strengthens us and gives us hinds feet so that we can get to the high places, so that we can be sturdy, so that we can be steadfast, so we don't stumble and fall, so that we can leap through, so we can get over, so we can get to the top, so we can overcome because he empowers us and he enables us and he strengthens us. And so this is what we want to talk about. If this is what we want to meditate on, because when you're feeling discouraged and you're feeling down, I encourage you to go not only and study these verses, study in 2 Samuel uh, chapter 22 and also looking at Psalm chapter 18 and Habakkuk um, chapter 3, but going through and studying these chapters, going through and studying these verses and meditating on them, but then also go and read about um 
the 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 uh hinds feet. Now, when you look up hind in the regular secular dictionary, this is not what you see. You look up hind's feet. And, and when you look up hind's feet, you'll get the definitions of deer, deer feet, how they're important, what they're able to do. And what I just read to you, I actually read to you from uh, postgazette.com. But I read the same information on other sites. And then I read deeper information on either uh, or even more other sites. So when you look that up, look up, you know, how they're able to leap. And I'm sure that if you look, you can find some videos and actually see them in action. It will encourage you. This is all about us growing and changing, right? And progressing and being impacted by the word. We don't want to just skim over verses of scripture. We want to know the impact of it because what is available to one is available to others. We know that David is a man after God's own heart. We know that God strengthened him and gave him victory over his enemies, gave him victory in battle and that's what God does for us if God be for us who can be against us when they talk about in these scriptures about you know God bringing them to these high places with hinds feet right it says sets me upon my high places he makes my feet like hinds feet and that means that listen when we need to get over when we need to get to the top when we need to get through a circumstance it's like we don't have to fall right there and faint and give up but we need to understand that God will give us hinds feet. That we'll be able to pivot and get to where we need. Because the strength of the hinds feet, the strength that get, causes you to be able to leap from where you at to where you need to be. To cause you to leap from your present situation to where God is taking you. To cause you to leap through and get over the situation. Get over the enemy's attacks. Be able to get to where God is leading you. Where he's called you to. What he purposed for you. And we know that it's God that's doing it. I just wanted to encourage you today with our sit up so that we can move in this. We don't just need to know what the Bible says. We need to know what the Bible says to a point where we are internalizing it, where we're walking in it, where we're walking with expectation and we're not getting weak and weary because faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So if you find yourself in a situation or you're ministering to someone else and you know that God is able to strengthen you or them right where you're at, that you can get over and through and you don't have to quit. Remember these verses of scripture, meditate on them so that when you get in that place, when you want to give up, when you feel like your, sleep, your feet are slipping, right? The Bible says he won't allow you to stumble with it or slip. He will hold you up and keep you. And so I wanted to encourage you today, go back and read these verses of scripture. Go back and see if you can find a picture, if you can find a video or something that will show you what it looks like when a deer is leaping. Check it out. It's some of your study for today, some of your workout today. I've looked at some of the videos. I've seen some of the deer jumping over, you know, walls and fences. And you can find somewhere you see them jumping up and going up mountains. Listen, walk with hinds feet today. Ask God to give you hinds feet so that you can get through, get over and get to where it is that he has, he has purposed you to be. Get over the situation before you and realize he's called us to spiritual battle. And so we're not just talking about physically jumping over something. We're talking about spiritually overcoming. We're talking about being more than conquerors. We're talking about knowing that the greater one is on the inside of us and that God is our strength. We're going to close out in prayer, but I encourage you get these verses of scripture in you and remember that God has given you hinds feet to get to those high places. Father, in the name of Jesus, we rejoice in you and we bless your name. We thank you and praise you, God, that you give us victory, that you give us hinds feet, that we are overcomers, that we are victorious through Christ. That, Father, in the name of Jesus, you have enabled us, you have empowered us, you said you would help us, strengthen us, and hold us up with your righteous right hand. So thank you for being our strength. Thank you for hinds feet. Thank you, Lord God, for continuing to be with us and never leaving nor forsaking us. We give you all praise, glory, and honor, God, for making us, Lord God, Father, become the men and women of God you purpose. And we honor you for who you are. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. And we say hallelujah and amen. God bless you. I'll see you the next time on our sit-ups.